morning, everyone. Thank you for joining us today for our Destiny Estimator cloud hosted webinar. My name is Naz Garcia. I'm a marketing specialist here at Beck Technology. And today I'm accompanied by um, our company president, Stuart Carroll. Um, so we are very, very excited to show you the new cloud hosted environment for Destiny Estimator and what this means for your pre-construction team. Um, I want to encourage all of our viewers to ask questions as they come up um, in the question panel below your screen. Um, we'll do our best to address as many questions uh, towards the end of the webinar, but if we miss your questions, um, we will follow up with you afterwards. Um, so with that, I'm going to pass it to Stuart. Take it away. Awesome. Thank you, Naz. Uh, good morning, everybody. I know we have a combination of existing customers and uh, people interested in learning a little bit more about the cloud hosted offering of Destiny Estimator. What I thought we would do um, to start with is, is quickly remind everybody, um, you know, sort of what we're trying to do with Estimator. And um, as we get into the cloud hosted version, everything that I show on this slide and the next slide are accessible through the cloud hosted version of Estimator. So at a high level, our, our goal with our, our, our solution is to create an integrated pre-construction offering. So everything in this slide um, around the edges of the, the, the circle are features and functions um, inside Estimator. And every single one of these pieces of functionality is available inside the cloud hosted version that I'm actually gonna show you today. The second part of our strategy with, with Estimator is to provide the ability to capture all of the data throughout not just the pre-construction phase, but the life of the project and use that data for presenting things like cost history. So instead of doing your estimates, focus on deliverables, and then after the fact, trying to scramble to create cost history, we very much believe that the ability to capture all of the data associated with all, all of your deliverables throughout each project is vitally important. And as many of you know, we have a number of free Power BI dashboards. I know a number of you have also created your own that enable you when you're hosting Estimator on-prem to point your Power BI dashboards at your jobs database and create some pretty amazing um, analysis tools. Again, within the cloud hosted offering, this capability is still available. So you're not gonna lose any of the functionality that you have with the on-prem version. It's just that there's no installs and um, it, it really exists in the cloud. So what I thought I would do next is quickly introduce you to how you would launch the, the cloud hosted version of Estimator. And I'll do a quick little run through. I obviously won't touch on all of the functionality in the product, but I'll, I'll quickly go through most of the major areas that, that our customers um, use today. So to start with, the, the cloud hosted offering is hosted in the Azure cloud. And the way that you access the, the estimate, estimator in the Azure cloud is through a remote desktop um, application. So you launch remote desktop. Um, I have a number of environments set up. You would likely see one of these drop down boxes. Um, you'll launch Estimator by double clicking it as if it was installed on your local machine. And what it's going to do is it's going to configure the remote session. And after a few sessions, it will bring up the splash screen. It looks just like you launched Estimator from your, your local machine. However, there is no install for this particular version of Estimator. Once it's actually um, launched Estimator, it'll bring you up to the home screen, just like you would, um, you would have, if again, if you had it on-prem. I've configured a little demo project, but the first thing I wanted to, to let everybody know is with the on-prem version, you have the ability that you can connect to um, different jobs databases. In the cloud hosted, one of the things that um, we will help you is configure those um, for you. So they'll be available in this dropdown box. One of the features that is not available is the ability to create new ones. The reason for that is this is actually behind a firewall. 
it is inside a, a network. The first, very first time you log in using remote desktop, um, it'll ask for a login, it'll ask for a password, and it will actually require two-factor two authentication. So everything that we're doing is within a secure environment. And we will administer that, we'll help set it up, we'll help um, configure it. Any patches, any installs, um, we'll be responsible for. Okay, from the home screen, let's quickly um, open an estimate. All of the features and functions over here on the left-hand side to do with templates, um, to do with um, you know setting preferences are all as they are with the, the, the on-prem solution. Once you uh, have uh, an estimate open, um, the estimate view is going to appear very similar to, uh, very similar, identically to the way that it would appear on um, on-prem. So all of the functionality to do with, you know, changing quantities or changing unit prices, all those features and functions are available. Just like we have on the on-prem solution, if you want to get rid of columns, um, you can do that. If you want to bring columns back, you can bring up the column chooser. We also, um, again, still have the functionality to enable you to select from a pre-assigned uh, layout how you want to look at the data in the estimate view everything that uh, you have on that on-prem solution is available. We also um, provide the same ability over here on the left-hand side so that you can um, filter your estimate based on whatever um, setup you have configured the filter view for. So in this particular case, it's organized by uh, uniformat. So any of the data that matches the, the uniformat folder that I select is gonna be filtered. And then at the bottom here, the totals, um, the direct cost and the total cost, including fees, will filter accordingly. All of the values that you, you had um, for filtering are still available. So, for example, if we wanted to organize by, by location or system, we have that capability. Um, the dashboard views, very similar. You can set these up um, so that they, they you know, uh, function exactly the same way that they function on-prem. We give you the ability of opening a dashboard. Um, you can also do save as. I'll show you this when we kind of get to 2D takeoff. Whilst this particular estimator session is being hosted in the cloud, you do have access to your local machine for selecting files to upload into the cloud. I'll show you that in context of takeoff in just a second. Um, this particular uh, dashboard was embedded inside a template, so all the templating functionality is also available. So talking at takeoff, um, we have the ability that we can come in, um, we can select either a 3D model or some kind of 2D takeoff. The way that you can um, upload files from your local machine is to say select um, uh, this particular load PDF or image. You'll notice down here that there's, there's the C drive, You'll also notice that there is a second C drive, and in this case, a T drive. In my particular machine, it has this funky name, um, FJ3772-A, kind of rolls off the tongue, um, but that is actually my local machine. And if I was to click on it, um, you'll see that it actually starts to show the folders on my, my local computer. So again, if I was to come down to File Explorer and maybe pick on my C drive, just so you can sort of see it, it's gonna be organized um, exactly the same way. And I can navigate to a file that I can then subsequently select to upload and open as if it was um, on-prem. So if I was to select this um, example project as an example, it's gonna upload that PDF into the cloud and then it's gonna present it in this takeoff window um, like it did previously. Just like we have in the on-prem solution today, um, you have the ability of selecting items that already exist in your takeoff palette. Obviously, the next version of Estimator that I know a lot of our customers are excited about with auto pricing, this will change a little bit, but the functionality is identical. So if I wanted to come in and, and sketch, um, I can do 2D takeoff. If I want to back out an area, um, I can do that also. You'll see these and again I can back out some areas. Um, obviously I can map these to costs 
just the same way that I would in the on-prem solution. This is um, very responsive. It, um, it acts exactly the same way as if it was on-prem, other than the fact that it's hosted. The other thing that you can, uh, you can do is obviously uh, generate reports. Reports work similarly to the way that you select files on your local machine. Um, you can select a report um, from a drop-down box. You can also find and run a report. So if you have a centralized drive on your um, network, you can navigate to those and you can um, select that report to run. Not only, I promise I will come back to BIM 360 in just a second. Um, I'm not gonna save this. The other way that you can actually get to um, this particular um, environment is actually through a web browser. So you can actually come back over to the, um, a web browser and you can actually launch it directly through the browser. Um, so I'm gonna allow all of those. And what it's gonna do is inside the browser, it's gonna launch Estimator, and it'll show me the splash screen um, after I log in. And just like I had when I was running it on the local machine, I'll actually see Estimator embedded inside this web browser. Now, one of the reasons or one of the questions that's been asked previously on, on a webinar was why would you want to run it in, in a web browser versus uh, on your local machine or via the desktop? Um, the difference is when it's in a web browser, you're obviously confined to the contents of the web browser. A lot of our customers love the user experience in Estimator where they can drag one of the windows onto a separate monitor Unfortunately, when it's within the browser, it's limited to what you see in the browser. Um, so, uh, but this is definitely a way that you can uh, you can launch it. So let's um, quickly go back and try one more time with BIM 360. And we'll try it again. That's okay. It's always the way when you uh, when you get online and you try to do something, something happens. Okay, so let's go over to the takeoff view. Let's load it again. It may require me to log in. Nope. Let's uh, navigate down again, and we'll try this one more time. And I'll select it. Okay, not sure what was going on the first time. This is a fairly decent sized model. It's it's obviously, you know, uh, I'm sure everybody online who uses models has bigger models than, than this, but it's, a, it's about an eight floor medical building um, and all the functionality that you have inside our um, on-prem version of Estimator with 3D um, also is available here. All right. Let's quickly go back to um, PowerPoint and let's finish up with just a, a few more slides. So one of the big things that we heard and one of our, our big drivers to move Estimator into this cloud hosted offering was the move associated with COVID-19 of a lot of pre-con teams to working from the house. Obviously when you're working from the house, um, different people have different bandwidth and one of the, the nice things about this, whether you're running it through the remote desktop app or you're running it through a web browser, is you'll get consistent performance. There's less data that's being moved between the jobs database and the client because both the client and the jobs database are in the cloud. So everyone on the team should see a, a consistent level of performance. Another thing that this um, does is it removes the IT burden from your company over to us. So whilst um, it's, it's been good and a lot of positive feedback about the velocity in which we develop uh, new releases, it can be overwhelming. And um, while IT teams are, are super busy, um, it often, you know, upgrades happen in a delayed manner. One of the, the beauties of us being able to manage this is we can do the upgrades off hours and everybody can benefit from being on the latest version of Estimator. 
The last thing, so if you are interested in Estimator, if you're an existing customer, um, you can buy this as an additional item um, from us. If you're not a customer, it is something you can buy in conjunction with Estimator. The way that it would work is after executing some kind of agreement, um, we would send um, each of your users um, an invitation. So each individual user, named user, gets a unique login and password. Um, they'll have the ability to change that password, um, but it is tied to that user's, uh, user's name. They'll then um, launch the remote desktop, enter those um, login and password credentials. Um, it does require two-factor authentication for security, so it will require an authenticator either on your computer or on your phone. You'll authenticate. Once you've logged in, um, you can um, tell it to remember those um, for a period of time. And then you'll have the ability of launching Estimator in the cloud without the need to actually install it on your, your local machine. All of your local printers, access to your local machine are all available through the, uh, the hosted offering. So with that, Naz, I'm gonna open it up if there are any, any questions from the audience. Thanks, Stuart. Yeah, we actually do have a couple of questions rolling in. Um, so for our attendees, there should be a panel somewhere around your screen um, where you can ask questions. Um, so again, if we are unable to answer your question right now, um, we're going to follow up with you after the webinar. The first question we have rolling in is, can I access uh, this cloud hosted environment using my Mac? You can. So there is um, a remote Windows or remote desktop app for the Mac. So you can um, you can definitely launch it in both methods. You can do it through the remote desktop um, so that you get that um, you know multi-window look and feel, or you can access it through the web browser on a Mac. So both are available. That's great. We have a lot of uh, happy Mac users right now. Um, and another question I have is, um, can I get Windows and Vectech support with this new environment? So um, Vectech support um, is obviously still available um, like it has been, whether it's through the hosted environment or on-prem. Um, if you're accessing the remote desktop and there is any issue, you're unable to access it. Um, you know, Microsoft, while they have a 99.9% um, uptime guarantee. There, there have been situations where, uh, very rarely, but um, where Microsoft goes down. And we'll be able to help um, navigate those hurdles and uh, answer the questions um, that you have related to, to Estimator, whether it be on-prem or through the hosted offering. Awesome. And I have another person asking, um, how long will it take my team to roll out this uh, cloud hosted environment? Yeah, we um, we ask for 10 days notice. If you're an existing customer, one of the reasons we, we like for a window is to help you figure out when is a good time to transition your jobs database um, into the cloud hosted so that your team doesn't have any downtime. More often than not, that's uh, us working with your IT department to back up your jobs database, get it uploaded into the Azure cloud and setting up the, the users and your individual account. So we ask for 10 days. It, it oftentimes is done quicker than that, but that's sort of the window that we, we're, we're trying to work towards. Awesome. And I have a couple of questions coming in about how much this is going to cost my team. Um, I know you mentioned earlier that um, there's a difference between the cost of being a customer and uh, being new. So um, if you could please clarify that, a bunch of people want to know. Yeah. So um, the, the, the cost is the same. Um, it's just that if you obviously are not using Estimator, you would have an additional purchase, which is for the Estimator um, product. So um, if you are interested in um, you know, the, the cloud hosted offering, we'd be more than happy to set up a time and talk to you um, about the number of people that are going in on your side um, and, and give you a proposal. So again, if you're interested, I'm more than happy to schedule a time to talk to one of the sales team. We obviously have just 
clip the tips of each of the functional areas inside Estimator this morning. We can also do a deeper dive um, on the solution if you're not a customer. Awesome. And um, I also have another question coming in about um, job databases. Um, so person is asking, how does modifying the job uh, database work? Yeah, so anytime you make a change inside Estimator, um, that change is getting pushed back into the jobs database. So you can sort of think of, um, you know, estimates today outside of our system um, tend to be a little bit like a Word document. You store the, the, the project as a file. With um, Estimator Teams that we, we launched in 2019, we moved away from a file-based system of storing the estimates into a database. So when I talk about a jobs database, think of it as a database that contains each of your projects, each of your jobs. Um, anytime your user makes a change, you have the ability of saving that change back to that centralized database. And then um, we provide tools around the edges that enable you to use tools like Power BI to look at that data um, across projects for things like cost history, project comparisons, fee analysis, um, self-performed type analysis. So um, that's how the jobs database works. Awesome, We've got a lot of questions rolling in. I can write a book out of all these questions. Um, so we have somebody else asking, can I still check out uh, my estimate? That is one of the only functions that you don't get, um, primarily because of the fact that everything is in the cloud. So um, unlike the on-prem version where you're actually installing the software on your local machine, and if you cut the internet connection, you can still work on it. This does require an internet connection. Um, it's just like accessing anything through a web browser. It requires a web connection. So unfortunately, there is not the capability today to check out an estimate um, to work in a disconnected fashion. Awesome, and I know you were showing um, a bit of 2D right now in Estimator, and I have um, a question coming up of, will I be able to pull my 2D drawings and files uh, from Procore? Um, you can, the Procore integration still works. So for those that um, don't know, um, on our takeoff, you have the ability that you can load a document from Procore. You'll have that same functionality that you had on-prem where it'll bring up a login screen. You'll be able to navigate in Procore, select your document, and it'll come in the same way that uh, it came in previously. We also have the capability um, in the estimate view that once you're done, you can also push your financials, your final GMP into Procore financials so that the end of pre-con becomes a starting point of the construction phase. Those, those features and functions are, are still available. Awesome, and I'm gonna, I'm gonna wrap it up with our last question. Um, I do have some people asking when um, this cloud hosted offering is available and it actually is available now. Um, yeah. You know, whether you are an attendee, uh, you are a customer already, or you are somebody interested in Estimator, um, we'll send follow up information on how you can get your hands on uh, the cloud hosted environment for your team. Um, so with that being said, I'm going to wrap it up. Um, thank you to everybody who attended um, this webinar. There's going to be a recording sent to you afterwards, like I mentioned, with more information about Estimator. So thank you, Stuart, for joining me today. You and bet. I hope you guys have an awesome rest of your day. We'll see you soon. Thanks, Thanks everyone. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.